Hi, I'm Wendy Ingram and I'm a graduate student at the University of California, Berkeley. I study a brain parasite that's carried by cats called Toxoplasma gondii. When mice and rats are infected, it's very interesting because they seem to lose their innate hardwired fear of their natural predator, cats, to the benefit of the parasite. I'm going to show you how we study this behavior change in the controlled setting of a laboratory. First, we secure a small dish to the bottom of one end of a behavioral arena. We then add a small amount of either cat urine or rabbit urine used as a control to the dish. We then place the arena in a specialized device that is able to record the movement of the mice. After that, we take a mouse gently by the tail and very carefully place it in the center of the arena. A cover goes on top and we can push a button to start recording the experiment. We then turn out the lights because mice are nocturnal. While in the dark, the mouse will explore the arena and encounter the urine in the dish at one end. If the mouse is uninfected and smells cat urine, it will retreat to the opposite end of the enclosure whereas a mouse infected with toxoplasma will not do so. A set of infrared beams that are located around the smart frame will form a grid, and as the mouse moves around the enclosure, each beam that is broken will be recorded by a computer. We have 16 of these devices to simultaneously record mice. 